Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and Soul Magic Inspirations. This reading will probably be on both channels. And today we're doing a pick up our love reading. So how will the lunar eclipse energies on the 8th affect your love life? So you can be single, you might be in a relationship. Okay, so we're just going to have a look. Um, we've got three piles to choose from. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's supporting me right now. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my channels and enjoy my content. If you do, please like, share, subscribe and comment, even if it's just a heart or a thumbs up emoji. Let me know how the readings resonate for you. That would really be nice feedback for me. Um, check out my deck shop, Over 90 Designs. A lot of the decks you'll see me using are my own design of Tarot and Oracle found in my shop. And I have a Patreon, which is just $5 a month to join. If you join before the 1st of December, you will get a free reading as a thank you from me. So let's get on with the reading. So pile one, we have the green heart. Pile two, the black. And pile three, the white. So pick your pile and we'll get started. Hello, pile one, you chose the green heart and we're going to look at the oracles at the end. So first off, we're going to look at my mermaid romantic mermaid oracle one and two so pile one let's get that overall love messages around the lunar eclipse on the eighth what do they need to know about this lunar eclipse about their love life what do they need to know about their love life around this lunar eclipse so we've got positive vibes you are my one and only love I want to make love to you. So some strong emotions here. New romantic phase. You are a shining star. And gestures of love. So for some of you, it could be an existing relationship. Okay, it could be going to the next level. And for some of you, it could be somebody that's coming in that's going to have really strong feelings for you. Okay very positive you know you're positive they're positive what can you tell us about the positive vibes so i'm using my um a victorian romance deck here it's one in my shop and the mermaid oracle is one in my shop as well so this is the romance oh it's upside down a victorian romance oracle So what's this positive vibes about? We've got the temperance energy here. So I feel that you're very much in balance in your own energy. They're in balance and it's all about divine timing. And we've got the seven of coins energy there. So this could be somebody that you've been building something with that is going to go to the next stage. It's as my one and only love. It's going to turn into love. And for those of you meeting somebody new, this is somebody that wants to stay the course, wants to build something with you. Sorry, I'm shuffling around my decks. So they want to make love to you. So there's strong feelings here. We've got the Hierophant. So this is somebody that does want a commitment, I feel, with you. And we've got the Queen of Roses. So they're either a water sign or you're a water sign in that loving, nurturing energy. And we have the Knight of Roses, which is my cups in this deck. So romantic, loving times coming towards you. And they see you as a star. You're a wish fulfillment for this person. And I feel it's them feeling that about you. Yeah, look at that, Nine of Roses, Nine of Cups, so a wish fulfilment. And I feel it's mutual energy. And we've got Justice of Love coming in, and we've got Six of Roses. So that can be nostalgic energy. So for some, it could be a reconciliation, or it could be somebody from the past returning from a past life. And we've got Four of Rods, so it's going to lead to stability and a commitment here. So let's get your Oracle messages. 
So we've got chivalry, look at that. So that ties in very much with the Knight of Roses. This is somebody that wants to be romantic. This is somebody that wants to wine and dine you, treat you right, buy you flowers, buy you chocolates, whatever that is for you. They want to be seen as a hero. They want to be seen as your hero. And worthiness. So it's about you stepping into that, okay? You need to feel worthy of love to get into that energy, to attract this to you, because you are deserving, you are worthy. And the Rainbow Reviver. So yeah, I feel this is going to bring a lot of healing in. Okay, you and each of you and this person are going to heal each other. There's going to be a lot of healing in this connection. You're going to bring each other back to life when you could have both been going through difficult times. And we've got Saturn return. So that's talking about return as well. Some of you could be in your 30s. Some of you could be older in your 60s, late 50s, early 60s. But it is an age is a particular time. And we just say about divine timing. So I feel this is like a destined connection here. And we've got the solar eclipse energy, a power number four, four revolution. So this process could have started at the solar eclipse, which was on the 25th. You're going through a change. You're going through a massive change in your life, in, in your love life in particular here. There's a revolution coming into your love life. And expression. So it's time to express yourself. Okay, be open and honest with your feelings. Express how you're feeling. Share your feelings with your significant other. Okay, and open up the lines of communication. And intimacy, yeah, I feel this is mutual. You're both wanting that intimacy on all levels here. You're wanting that deep connection with somebody. And I feel this person wants that as well. So you're going to be able to share that with each other. And we've got chemistry. So there's really good chemistry between you. You're going to feel it as soon as you meet. And if this is somebody you've been with, you, you know, that's you had that spark between you. And desire, there's a lot of desire here between you. But it's not just about desire. We saw there is love here and passion. So very loving, passionate, you know, connection. So final message is, yeah, again, confirming that divine timings at work here. You're going to have peace. It's going to bring you peace, this connection. And this is a new opportunity, okay? So whether it's somebody returning or it is a brand new person, it's a new start in either way in your love life there, part one. So sending you love and blessings. Take care. Hello, part two. We're black with, back with the black heart. So we're going to get your oracles at the end. So we're going to start off with my romantic mermaid oracle one and two. So this is in my shop. All the links are down below. So what does part two need to know? This is about your love life around the lunar eclipse. How will this powerful eclipse affect your love life? So you could be single, you could be with somebody, so take what resonates. So uh, part two, how does this lunar eclipse affect their love life? How does this lunar eclipse affect their love life? How does the lunar eclipse affect their love life? So we've got what do you want in love? So getting clear in your mind, okay, what it is you want. We've got a joyous love here. Have unconditional love for self. So be in that energy of self-love. We've got passion, love and desire coming in here. And we've got new love. And the angels are bringing you together. So this obviously feels like a divine connection here. Okay, this is destiny. And, you know, a lot of us do have destined relationships in this life. You know, we have past lives with people. We may have karmic connections, soul contracts. Okay, so there are reasons that we meet the same people again and again. So what is it that you want in love? So I'm going to use my um, sensual love tarot again in my shop. Wow, Ace of Cups. So you want a brand new beginning in love. You want a fresh start in love. And we've got a joyous love there. So you want to feel happy and a loving connection. So this pile could be for people that are single right now. Wow, we've got King of Coins. So Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So very, it could be very mature, very grounded, somebody financially stable and secure. And they want that sort of connection. 
and we've got page of swords so this person could have had their eye on you okay they could have had an eye on you online um maybe they watch you online maybe it's a, a mutual friend of a friend We've got seven of wands, so there could be defensive energy here. I feel this could be you or this could be that person. You know, after heartbreak, obviously that's what happens sometimes. But we do have the page of wands and we did have passion, love and desire. So I do feel they're going to reach out. There's going to be a message. Okay, and we've got new love here. So there is going to be a beginning in love with somebody that you're going to connect with, I think, quite quickly. new love talking about here it's new love talking about yeah we've got three of coins i feel this person wants to collaborate wants to work to, together with you to build something a relationship with you and we've got the angels are bringing you together here so you know they're guiding you together to come together to meet in this lifetime wow we've got six of cups so that is that nostalgia that can be somebody from the past returning so if that resonates for you you know this could be somebody from your past that's returning for a fresh start with you or it could be a soulmate that you've known in a past life that you had a connection with as i say and it's time to do that work and we've got the wheel of love so the wheel of fortune the tide is turning and you're moving away from the past okay you're moving away into a new beginning and we've got Knight of Cups energy. So a loving romantic partner coming towards you. And they see you as their empress. They see you as the divine feminine. Wow. And they want it all with you. That ten of coins which is abundance in all areas. Wow. So beautiful energy there. Part two. So let's look at your additional messages. So we've got reparenting yourself. So I feel that you've had to be doing some healing. Some inner child work. You could have had difficult childhood, and this could be both of you. And the yin and the yang, so it's like opposites attract. You could be from different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different religious beliefs, you know, different parts of the world. But you're opposites in so many ways, but you attract each other. You fit together well. You're going to fit together well. And yes, you're going to have that intimacy with each other. You're both wanting that intimacy, that loving connection. And we've got the six house, house routine. So I feel what it's saying there is step out of your routine. Okay, step out of your routine. I feel this is how you're going to connect with this person. Okay, by not doing the usual, by doing something a bit out of your, about out of the usual. And third house messages. Yeah, we saw that this person is going to connect with you. They're going to message you. They're going to connect with you. This as I say, this could be somebody that's watching you online. They could send you a direct message through your social media, could send you a text, an email. Okay, but they are going to communicate. This person's going to communicate with you. And we've got desire here, fire elements. So we saw that in the cards. So there's going to be a lot of desire between you, but there is love here as well. It's not just about desire. There is going to be a, a growing relationship that's going to lead to that commitment. And originality, this person sees you as somebody very unique, very original, and they really like that about you. And yes, there is this, um, with the sacral chakra, this lustful, sensual, sexual feelings, but it will turn into love. It might start off as a passionate, you know, lustful desire, but it is going to turn into more than that. And yes, they see you as a divine feminine. They see you as one. We had that earlier with the Empress. They really see you as the ultimate for them, that you are the one they want. And waiting, yeah. So you could have been waiting some time to meet this person, to meet the right one for you, and you were willing to wait for the right one. And discovery, yeah, you're going to find out a lot about each other. You're really going to connect, as I said. You're really going to have those beautiful conversations and be open and honest and really share each other in all ways. And romanticism, yeah, it's going to be very romantic. You're both possibly very romantic people. And life, you know, life needs more romance, doesn't it? So let's get your final messages. New start on the horizon, yeah, new beginning in love here. And divine union. So for some of you, this is going to lead to that divine union with your counterpart. 
you know, and sensual love. So there is this really deep sensual love connection between you. So beautiful messages there, Part 2. Love and blessings. Hello, Part 3. We're here with the White Heart. So we're going to get your oracles in the end. So we're going to start off with my romantic Mermaid Oracles Deck 1 and 2. So what does Part 3 need to know about their love life around the lunar eclipse? What does Part 3 need to know about their love life around the lunar eclipse? What does Part 3 need to know about their love life around the lunar eclipse? We've got Wish Upon a Star. Work on self-love, self-care. Thinking about the past. Healing your heart. Be authentic. First impressions. So, you know, the message overall here is do that work on yourself first of all first of all really do that healing put your intentions out there to manifest what you want heal your heart be authentic be in that authentic energy because first impressions count okay so be the best version of you we've got thinking about the past i feel you need to let that go okay so heal that energy um and i feel this first impression is also talking about you meeting somebody um, that you're going to, you know, both of you are going to really have a strong impression of each other. So let's clarify these. And I'm using my Maddie Melise Tarot, another deck in my shop. So we've got Page of Cups. So there is a message of love coming in, a new start in love. But you need to take care of yourself first. And it's going to be moved quickly. Okay, but you need to do that healing on yourself got five of wands so there could be internal conflict within you there between head and heart about this but we have got the wheel of fortune so do the work on yourself because things are going to start moving forward quickly okay and we've got thinking about the past so six of cups so for some it could be a reunion i mean this is a theme that's coming up right now and obviously everybody's different so that can be you know that reunion that reconciliation energy uh, or it's just this person is on your mind. Why is the Six of Cups there? Why is the Six of Cups there? <clears throat> We've got Four of Wands. Because you wanted stability with that person. You wanted a commitment there. And you need to heal your heart is the message here. And we've got Queen of Cups. So I feel that you are going to come into that energy of self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. And you're going to open up your heart again. You're going to be in that loving, nurturing energy, whether you're a water sign or not. And it's time to be authentic. And we've got the emperor energy here. So balance out your energies, you know, your masculine and feminine. You know, balance that out within you. Yeah, temperance. So it's talking about divine timing and balance. So come into balance. And first impressions here are going to be important, I feel. So what's this first impressions about? first impressions about here wow we've got the empress so yeah definitely balancing out your masculine and feminine you're doing the work on yourself and you could be meeting somebody that is your divine counterpart as well here you're going to match each other there yeah we've got ace of wands so there is a brand new start and we've got knight of cups so there's romance and passion here and you're both strong. You're both really emotionally strong, mentally strong. Yeah, it's it's a brand new start, a brand new beginning here. Can you tell us who this is with? Can you tell us who this is with? We've got the world card. So you're coming into a whole new era of your life, a whole new chapter. And it is going to lead to that loving relationship, that ten of cards. But who's it with? It is a wish fulfillment. We said earlier about wishing upon a star. Put your intentions out there. Who's it with? Who's this loving connection with? Who's this loving connection with? Who's 
Who's this loving connection with? Yeah, we've got the fool. So it's somebody who doesn't really want to tell me a sign, but it's somebody that wants to take that risk with you, that wants to take that leap of faith, okay? So obviously it could be any sign. So let's have a look at your other messages. So we've got boundaries. So make sure you have boundaries in place. Protect your own energy. You know, don't let people walk all over you. You know, have those firm boundaries. Respect your own boundaries. And then other people will respect that. And we've got manifestation. So I do feel you're manifesting this. We had that wish upon a star. So be clear on what you're manifesting. And it's going to lead to that commitment. And for some, it is soulmate to inflame energy with the swans there. And we've got that moon and the stars energy there. So it's written in the stars. This is destiny, I feel. And yeah, end is the beginning. So yeah, you're coming into a new beginning in your life, okay? New beginning. And Black Moon Lilith, mystery. So yeah, there is mystery around it because Spirit wouldn't tell us who it's with, okay? So this is going to be different for everybody. And maybe you're not meant to know just now. And 10th house of the world again. So yeah, definitely confirming you're coming into a whole new chapter of your life here. Where there's going to be a commitment. And yeah, this is a soul contract. I really feel that. This is destiny. You're meant to meet this person. And 7th chakra, it's a very spiritual connection. Okay, your crown chakras, your heart chakras are going to connect. And commitment, yeah, again. So yeah, this is going to lead to a strong commitment here. Um, it's destiny. And we've got fidelity here. I normally pick more cards than that. I don't know what happened there. We've got fidelity. Um, you know, you're going to be very loyal to each other. You know, really, you know, just commit to each other. And yes, yeah, surprises on the way. So there's definitely surprises on the way. And what do you desire? Again, being clear what you're manifesting, set your intentions and emperor energy. So this, if you're feminine, this could be your divine masculine, your emperor coming towards you. And we did have the emperor card and passion source. So it's going to be a very passionate, loving connection. So beautiful messages there, part three. Hope you enjoyed that. Love and blessings. Take care.